Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is hopefully by the end of it make our enemies fire at us if they hate us kind of thing. We won't actually make it um, angry angry or anything like we've done our space yet but we are just going to try and make them fire at us. But the first thing we need to do is actually make a thing for all of them because at the moment we don't have stats for any of them and they're all the same which is not what we need. So at the moment we have female text shot which is her there I believe no her up there then and then we have where are you close all these it might be easier farmer David which is the one half naked him perfect so we need civilian female one we just need to make stats for her so I'm gonna increase it to three here I'm gonna type um civ ilian o one female we're gonna obviously get proper ones soon but I'll keep all that the same and field of view, yeah, I'll just keep them all the same for now, really. So, civilian, civilian male, and surgeon. So, we need two more. So, that'd be five. Here we have male, and the finally one we have surgeon. Eon. Perfect. So, we can assign them to them all. So, so female tech shop is zero, farmer David is one. So, female tech shop, where are you? There you don't have a movement script okay you not having one then farmer is apparently doesn't have one either so hey okay then then we move on to the civilian 01 female there so we'll assign him her to three male four and surgeon five so now they've all got different bits and of course it needs to be taken down because it's an array so three two one zero perfect i think that should be it so now that we've done that we need to begin printing spawn points on them all because at the moment they're all going to fire with fireballs but we will change it in the future so i'm going to put one spawn point on one of the characters and then i'm going to repeat it off screen for the rest just so you don't get bored of it really so i'm going to double click this one and i'm actually literally just going to put it inside of them like so Okay, apparently doesn't even want me to move now. There we go. So I'm going to go empty game object. It doesn't even need to have anything. I'm just literally going to put it in front of them and then to the side a little bit. Just so it looks like it's their arm. And then we'll eventually make them fire with it, but we'll, we'll put weapons on eventually as well. So I'm just going to call this spot pro project ah, projectile spawn point. And we'll copy that. So that's there. I'll stick it inside the female, not in the entity one. So it's off to one side. She'll fire. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. So I'm going to do it off screen for every single one else. That looks awful. Let's move it in. Do it on screen for everyone else, and then I'll be back in a minute. So I've attached the projectile spawn point to every single character. So that should work really well. So what I'm going to do now as well is I'm going to go back up to our land AI script. So farmer. Okay then, mail here, land AI. And I'm going to go up, and I'm just going to create... In fact, I'm not even going to create one. I'm going to come down to the bottom and type in function fire. Yeah, so projectile spawn point, that's what it'll be called. So we'll need to find that. So transform dot find spawn point dot position. So that'll search inside of whatever it's attached to. So first we need to spawn the bullet, so var spawn bullet equals instantiate then what are we spawning well we need to get from the references so we'll just put brackets for now not references resources transform that position and quaternion that identity let's push the bullet forward so spawn bullet dot rigid body dot add force transform dot forward times a thousand we'll just go like that so it's a lot like our space one so up here we need to access the resources to get a bullet otherwise we'll have to attach it to every single character so instead of putting it here we'll put it all the way up at the top in function start so as soon as the game loads we grab it from the resources then we only have to load it once and we're not constantly loading so up here we'll type um, game objects and private var bullet and it'll be a game object so in here we'll just type in 
var, in fact we'll just type bullet equals resources, resources dot load and then what do we put, so it's prefabs slash, now let's go and have a look where it is, so resources, um, do we have prefabs, yep, do we have weapons and enemy bullet, so weapons slash enemy bullet as game object. So that should load that and we have an error it's unexpected semicolon it expects a semicolon at line 65 meaning we've done something wrong so here we'll type dot game object dot transform so it's a long one but hey it'll, it'll work oh error is fair enough play then it's here wrong one I forgot so in here we'll just type bullet and we'll try again so that works but yet they're not going to fire at us so we need a timer and then we need to detect if they're angry or not so we'll just basically do it basic for now based on the respect which I don't think we've even done yet so we need to go and do the respect so I'm going to go to entity stats here so we have respect for players so we do have it and then we need to begin making them fire so if the character's in range here he'll look at him but without the spook meter we need to do something new so if stats dot entities dot so we can copy that and then we'll say the respect respect I don't know how we wrote it respect for player so basically we're gonna make them if they see the player and they don't like them shoot them otherwise get spooked so this is where the if statements will be weird because some of them might want to talk to you others might not so we have to be careful so if respect for player is less than 30 that means they hate you so then they'll attack you if it's less than 10 we can make it they will send everyone to attack you they will call I don't know but then we can just put attack and then we can put else if and then we can copy it again and if stats is more than 31 and then we can do and and sign so logic gates and and less than so if it's more than 30 but less than 60 then they will get spooked by you just like that so unlike our spaceships this is more realistically programmed if you want to and I forgot where this goes there boom so if it's more than 60 well if it's less than 30 you'll attack them if it's between 31 and 60 then it's okay and you can just get spooked by them but then if it's anything else so else if starts down to starts is more than 61 then they'll talk to you friendly so friendly so a lot of programming is involved but when you make it we will have an amazing AI system hopefully so don't just think this is very limited to three options they hate you they like you they don't know you well that's pretty much the three options in life but you can go into as much depth as you want you could even make it so for every 10 they do something different obviously we might in the future I'm not sure yet so obviously when they get to 100 we're gonna make them be um, do anything you want that's not the one I need that way there we go in fact let's add that now then so if it's more than 61 and then and less than my phone is going ballistic that is annoying if it's less than 89 so then they'll be friendly otherwise it's best friend yep so it starts if it's more than 90 if it's more than equal to make sure you put your equal to signs on otherwise we'll get a humongous glitch well not a glitch we just won't be able to use those numbers so yeah so let's have a look what we've got so far so if it's less than 30 they'll attack you if it's less than 10 we'll figure that out when we get there if it's less than, more than 31 but less than 60 they'll be spooked if it's more than 61 but less than 81 they'll be friendly with you hi if it's more than 90 they are your best friend that you can recruit them hint hint to another tutorial stuff like that so let's begin with attacks first because we need to so let's think how it does it if it's less than 30 then they need the timer needs to tick down tick 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 they need to come and attack us easy enough so then we'll put timer minus minus 
easy enough. Then we'll come down again. I need to stop saying easy enough. Yep. But if timer is less than two, then none of that. In fact, yes, of that. Timer equals 100 and fire, activate. The only issue is here is everything's based off of 100. We will eventually add more to it. In fact, I've got, I know how to do it. So up here, we've got private var timer because we don't need that anymore. In fact, I'm going to get rid of it. We're going to actually make it an array. So int equals array. And we're going to say new int, in fact, equals 100. And for each file, we'll say 50. Yeah. So we could eventually link that to each individual character, but I'm not going to. So for every timer in our game, I'm going to replace it. Well, not game, thing. I'm going to replace it with zero. So it'll come up and use that timer. Tick, 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 reset. Tick, 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 reset. But when we're firing, we're going to change it. So we're going to set number one to tick down, like so. So number one will be different. Then that'll pretty much do it. So tick, 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 fire. Tick, 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 fire. Stuff like that. Really easy. So we're going to go back to our game. And it should automatically sign everything, so I'll test it, and we'll be back in a minute. So what I'm going to do, just before we test it, is actually make one of them hate us, so whichever one it is what walks up to us, I believe it's him. So, oh, great, so the surgeon's going to hate us, that's just what we need. But anyway, right, okay, apparently the surgeon hates us, so we're going to get missed scripts, and we're going to say, the respect for player is not 60, but 20, so they hate us a lot, because then we can test it really quickly. So we, sh the, we should see him start going die, die to us, because that's what people do. So, is he going to attack us? Yes, there you go. Woo. Obviously, we need to make him look at us. His field of view isn't very big. I just realised that. So, obviously, we've got a glitch there. We need to improve their field of view. It's terrible. So, field of view is around about... Where is it? I have no idea. It's under it's after the texture, so here. 20 is crap, so we'll change it to 60. 60, and the player has minus 1 because they don't have any. And um, we will eventually have to add more here, but I'm not going to for now. So I'm just going to change his field of view to 60, and then I'll improve it later. That's just so we can actually see us and then fire at us. So that, when that loads, we go up and see him. So we go up and he'll look at us and attack us, hopefully. Boom. So as you can see, he's flying away. We need to give him skills and make him look at us. But hey, so we'll just quickly add that part so he starts looking at us while he's attacking us, because otherwise he just runs away. Okay, so where is it? Character. So he'll look at us there. So we'll come up and give it to the fire part, which is here. So look at us and he'll just do it, otherwise he'll look somewhere else. So coding AI, as you can see, can get very confusing depending on how big you go, but let's see. Boom. So obviously he still runs towards us when he sees us, which is not what we need. So we're going to tell him to basically stop still. So we're going to type rigidbody.velocity equals zero. So we've got all the code right here. We don't need to do anything. Um, we may end up enabling gravity on him and turning it off when he leaves, but we'll have a look at that. Because he does that's the reason he's fly, flying away, because he's got gravity on him. I mean, he's got no gravity, so he just wee, floats away. And yes, if you're asking how that, if Rockstar does that to make the um, anti-gravity thing, not anti-gravity, I can't remember. As you can see, die, die. And he thinks our head's up there, so obviously he's a terrible shot, so one shot. And we knock him back and he's not carrying on so obviously he thinks he's dead but yeah we've got a lot of bugs but that's all we're going to do for this tutorial because it's getting a bit long I'll fix the surgeon AIs off screen so all I'm going to do is add their stats to the entity stats here just add it to it and add some more easy enough if you want to see what my lost map stats looks like this is my lost map stats as you can see it's not the shortest thing adding loads as you can see not the shortest but it works really well there's a lot of things in there i hope you liked it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time